Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about factoring polynomials. The very reason bakit nakagumawa ng video na to, actually, meron meron tayong video about factoring polynomials. Meron lang ako nakita sa comment section ng isang video wherein he's actually asking for this kind of polynomials kung paano ba siya i-factor. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are, we have three different examples here in this video. And these are the two examples. We have 8x to the 4th power minus 4x cubed plus 10x squared. So as you can see, hindi rito pwede yung mga factoring techniques like sum and difference of 2 squares, sum and difference of 2 cubes, tapos yung perfect square trinomial factoring, even though trinomial to, because hindi, sila kaya, hindi niya kaya to. Yung pinaka-generic na pwede natin gamitin dito is yung common monomial factoring. Pag sinabi natin common monomial factoring, hahanap tayo ng common factors between these three terms. Okay? So, itong technique. Una, check nyo muna yung mga numbers. We have 8, negative 4, and 10. Alam niyo yung kalilang greatest common factor. Basically, these numbers are even numbers. So, unang iisipin nyo dito, ah, these numbers are divisible by 2. Ibig sabihin, ang kalilang greatest common factor ay 2. Pero huwag ka mag-stop doon. Iisipin mo rin, pwede bang 4? Pwede bang 6? So, hindi pwede yung 4, hindi rin pwede yung 6. So, we will do, kunin natin yung 2. Okay? Toss your greatest common factor for the numbers. Sa numbers lang yun, eh, hindi pa tayo natatapos sa variables. For the variables, observe nyo to. You have all the x variables sa lahat ng terms, pero magkakaiba sila ng power. x to the fourth power, x cubed, x squared. Ako, ang pipiliin ko ditong factor na variable is x squared. So, ano pong reason? Yun lang yung reason. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. Uh, ang reason dito is that hindi pwede ang x to the fourth power because x cubed and x squared cannot contain or wala tayong x to the fourth power sa loob ng dalawang to. Hindi rin pwede ang x cubed. So, bakit po? Um, aside from, although x cubed, is, uh, can be contained by x to the fourth power, hindi sa kaya ng x squared. Nakuha niyo yan? Pero, kung x squared ang pipiliin natin factor, sa mga terms sa to, kaya siyang i-contain ng x to the fourth power at x cubed. Pero, basically, dito ang kailangan nyo intindihin kapag variable, piliin nyo yung common variable, tapos yung may pinakamababang exponent. Okay? Ito yung ating common monomial factor sa labas. Tapos, Yung, factors, yung other factor natin again to, i-enclose natin by parenthesis. Now, since meron tayong three terms, we will expect na meron tayong tatlo pang terms sa ating second factor. So, sir, paano natin kukunin yan? Ang gagawin mo lang naman is to divide all these terms by your greatest common factor, which is 2x squared. We have 2x squared. Now, 8 divided by 2 is 4x squared. Ah, sorry, x to the fourth power over or divided by x square is x square. Subtract mo lang exponents. 4 minus 2 is 2. Next, ito namang term na to, divided by 2x square. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And then x cubed divided by x square is x. Kasi... 3 minus 2 is 1. So, meron dito ang invisible 1. Ito naman, divide mo rin by 2, x square. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Positive. x square over x square is simply 1. Or, nakakancel na lang yan. So, ito yung factors natin ngayon. The factors are 2x square times 4x square minus 2x plus 5. Okay? So, let's move on with this. O, tira natin numbers. 1, 3, 5. So, wala tayong factors. Walang greatest common factor. Ang pupuntaan nyo ngayon yung variables. Look at the x variables. Lahat merong x variables. x cubed, x to the 4th power, x to the 5th power. Pipiliin ko yung x cubed. Okay, labas natin x cubed. For the y variable naman, y square, y, y cubed. Pipiliin ko yung y kasi siya merong least exponent na 1. So, for the other factor, in close kayo ng parenthesis, divide this by your um, greatest common factor. 
x cube over x cube mga cancel yan ito na lang matitira y square over y is simply y kasi 2 minus 1 yan next number 3 ito naman divide natin to by x cube y so wala naman tayong number sa ilalim 3 divided by walang yan so plus 3 for the variables x to the fourth power divided by x cube subtract mo lang yung exponents 4 minus 3 is 1 so that is x for the y variable, mga cancel yan. Kasi parehas naman sila. So, 3x na lang yan. Next, divide this by x cube y. Yung variable natin, wala na, ay, yung number natin, wala naman. 5 divided by 1 lang yan. That is plus 5. For the variable x, x cube, uh, x to the fifth power over x cube, subtract 5 minus 3. That is 2. x squared yan. For the variable y, y cube, Divided by y, meron tayo itong invisible 1. 3 minus 1 is y square. So, this is now the factors of item number 2. We have x cube y times y plus 3x plus 5x square y square. So, let's move on with the next problem. In our next problem, we have here this problem. We have 9x squared times 2x plus 7 minus 12x times 2x plus 7. As you can see, factored na talaga siya, pero hindi siya factored out completely. Ngayon, kung mapansin nyo ito, one term, second term. Sa bawat term natin, meron tayong common na 2x plus 7. So, pwede natin kunin yan. Ilabas natin yung 2x plus 7. Kapag kinuha mo 2x plus 7, ang matitira dito, pag tinanggal ko siya, tatanggalin ko siya, tatanggalin ko siya, as you can see, we still have 9x squared minus 2x. So, yan yung other factor natin. In close by parenthesis yun, ito rin, 9x squared minus 12x. Pero guys, hindi pa to factor out completely. Ito 2x minus plus 7, okay na to. Okay? Ito na lang ang problema natin. As you can see, that is 9x squared minus 12x. Pwede natin ilabas dito yung um, GCF niya na 3x. Parehas may x, yung 9 and negative 12 are both divisible by um, 3. So, labas natin dito 3x. Okay? Times, copyin ko muna ito ah, 2x plus 7. To get the other factor, kasi ito, again guys ah, yung 3x natin, it came from this. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung factored form na itong part na to, divide lang natin to by 3x. 9 divided by 3 is 3. x square over x is x. Ito rin negative 12x natin divided by 3x. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4, so minus 4. Then yung ating variable x, makakancel siya. So, here is the complete factored form of the original given polynomial. So the factors are 3x times 2x plus 7 times 3x minus 4 and that's it guys. So I hope na mapanood mo ito kung sino man ang request ng gantong topic and sana mapanood nyo rin iba natin videos na napakarami natin factoring polynomials. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!